Hi, third graders. I'm going to share my personal narrative with you today because you should be getting ready to start yours. So I wanted to show you what it would look like in Google Slides, which is where you're going to type yours, all of your paragraphs. And if you pay attention to the template that I'm sharing with you, it tells you exactly what to put on each slide. So let me read mine to you. So you have a, an example and a model of what yours will be like. So this is my title page and it says, The Time I Learned to Walk on Water by Mrs. Linderman. I picked up my paddleboard and took a deep breath as I charged toward the water. When we planned our trip to Maine with friends six months ago, the one thing on my wish list was learning to paddleboard. Even though I'm not a confident swimmer, I was excited at the thought of walking on water. First of all, it was a beautiful June morning and my friend Rhonda and I quickly ate breakfast before driving to the paddleboard shop. We were both excited and a little nervous at the same time. I sure hope I can do this, I thought to myself as we got closer. We met our instructor, Chris, and after a short truck ride, we arrived at Echo Lake. It was a glorious summer day and sunshine filled the bright blue sky. We met the other members of our group in a gravel parking lot and I was starting to sweat. Was it the weather or my nerves, I wondered. As Chris explained the parts of the board and tips for getting in the water, I could feel my mind drifting. Can I pull this off? What if I fall? Is it too late to back out? Rhonda could tell I was doubting myself. And she said, I know you're afraid, but what's the worst that could happen? Even if you fall, you're wearing a life jacket, so you'll be safe. I quickly realized that she was right. After all, I couldn't let her down because this was her vacation too. Then the time had come. The parking lot was dusty and the gravel crunched beneath my feet as I walked. I remember thinking how heavy the paddleboard was because when I entered the water, I was relieved to put it down. I climbed on the board and sat up on my knees. I spent the next 30 minutes in this position, practicing my paddling and turning skills. How will I ever be able to stand up? The rubber grip on the board was digging into my knees like sandpaper, and the pain was distracting me. At last, Chris showed us how to stand up, and as I followed his direction, I began wobbling like a baby learning to walk. It took a few minutes to regain my balance. My body was tense and I was shaking like I had just run a race. Doubt crept back into my mind. But then I realized I was doing it. I was actually standing. So I took a deep breath to steady myself and all the nerves melted away. I had never been so proud of myself. Immediately, I paddled with confidence as I glanced around at my surroundings. The lush evergreen trees against the shimmering water was like a picture from a magazine. There was a group of children on the shore splashing and giggling as they learned how to sail in mini sailboats. The loons were bobbing on the water and I realized I was calm and enjoying this newfound freedom. This experience was more than I could have hoped for. Remember how I was afraid of falling? Rhonda and I made it all the way around the lake and never fell. No one else in our group could say that. In the end, I had the best experience learning to paddleboard. Even though I was afraid and doubted myself along the way, I did it. I learned a valuable lesson that sunny morning in Maine. To get the most out of life, you have to be brave and try new things, even when you're afraid and feel like giving up. Now, if you noticed, I had five different slides because I had five different paragraphs from my Power Organizer. Let me go back. My title page is not on my Power Organizer. Here's my first triangle. Here's my first rectangle. Second rectangle. My third rectangle. And finally, my bottom triangle. Right? So you're taking all that information in that power organizer, turning that into great juicy sentences with lots of details, and then you're going to put each of those shapes on a different slide so that we can read your personal narrative. Okay, Make it great. I'm so excited to read them, um, and I'll talk to you later.